What? <laughs> what? I'm like shaking. shaking what? With adrenaline, right? Welcome to hanging out with Herpers. Yeah. These guys are in the middle of the town, crawling around a bush trying to catch a colotes. <laughs> like crawling on the floor, the locals are looking like, what the PC man? <laughs> Trent Thompson. <laughs> What the fat ants are us? <laughs> All right, so today we've come out in the daytime to herp around some little limestone area near Trang. Um, you can see uh, it's a little bit difficult to herp. The limestone cast is over there and it is totally flooded at the base of this. So we're going to try and find a new access point, although this area looks good for like flying snakes and well, really a lot of things around these like buildings here. So maybe we'll take a poke around the trees. I'm sure some Dracos will be around. Maybe some... Uh, yeah, maybe some interesting snakes. Always a chance. Check it out, guys. We just decided to go for a little cruise because the conditions look perfect. And almost instantly, juvenile radiated rat snake. And uh, he's kind of gone docile already. He bit me like straight off the rip. And you can see where it gets that name. The little like three uh, black stripes radiating from the eye. That's where it gets the name, Radiata. Look at that, man. Wave your hand in front of its face to see if we can get it to... No. Not too bad. Someone can take this off me and hold it. <laughs> nice. Look at that, man. A tiny one. Daytime snake. First daytime herp didn't take us long at all to snag a daytime snake. You love to see it. We've had the luck with cruising. This car has been like... It's <laughs> cracked cruising luck already. Next road cruise find, well, after a nebulosus uh, clouded monitor that ran off the road, little Colotes Versicolor, same that we were chasing around in the center of town earlier, but this one was just on the road and we decided to move them off because they have a tendency just to like sit on the road until they get run over. So we'll help this guy out and get him off. All right, guys, as you can see, head torch on. We just came off the road after finding that Colotes because we spotted this awesome cave off the side. The guys are like fascinated by limestone cast formations. As you know, I'm a certified limestone cast enjoyer. So I'm never gonna say no to an opportunity to walk around this amazing habitat. And hopefully we can turn some stuff up, man. Maybe there's cave aces around, maybe Venustus even at this spot. So you can see Nate there in the background getting searching. Let's see what we can find. This is the kind of weather conditions that I just wait for in Southern Thailand. Everything's wet from a heavy day of rain, but the sun's out, mixed cloud cover. This is perfect. Let's find some stuff. Check it out. I did not expect to bump into this. <laughs> I mean, I've lived in the, I lived in this province when I was a kid and I've even hurt this area before. Didn't see this species until some friends of ours came to like this area and found them. And then we just went to check out this cave. I'm trying to find my way back to the other guys and I'm just bumping into a snake right in front of me. A beautiful male Venustus the first I've ever seen in Trang province. This is pretty significant for me. Um, if you guys can find a way like round to me, that would probably be best. Cause... Yeah, sounds good. All right, we got the boy out. And this is one of the nicest like Venustus I've seen in a while. Like the green is almost teal. Kind of a cyan blue coloration. That rocks, man. And such, it's like the reddish brown color. It's almost like purplish. That's a beautiful snake right there. Not too much to say about this one other than like what I said before in the like, yeah, like I was been looking forward to come to this area and try and find them in Trang for so long. Hadn't had an opportunity in the last two years until today. And we made it happen, spotted this cave off the side of the road and there we go. Absolutely just exquisite little Venustus here. We've been killing it for the vipers so far on this trip. If you go watch the last video, you'll see that we found so many of our targets with ease and uh, it's continuing. Long may it continue. Yo, look guys, there's a hog badger in this cave. Or is that, wait, I'm scared. Is this a hog badger or a bear? Oh God. Come look, come look, come look. I'm pretty sure it's, it. come look quickly, come closer. Uh... That's not a bear, is it guys? Its face looks bear-like, but I'm pretty sure it's just a huge hog badger down there. Oh, I see it. That's not a bear, no. So, <laughs> and I got what? Yeah, that's got to be a, a huge hog badger. Look, there's its turd right there. 
I'm pretty sure a bear would be like growling at us and this guy's backing up into the cave. That's crazy to see a mammal here as well. Yo. Do you want to try and grab a phone pick of that? That's pretty crazy. What? That's not a... It looks like a bear, doesn't it? Kinda it kind of does. It's not though, it's not. That's crazy. It's a hog badger, it's a hog badger. That's crazy. Wow. Pretty good start with all those snakes and the hog badger, but uh, so far just bats in these just tiny little caverns off the side of here that go in uh, short distances. But look at the water running through this one, man, flowing down over a little waterfall over there. It's beautiful. I am in my element, man. Limestone cast enjoyer. Average limestone cast enjoyer. What the bat ants, Ras? <laughs> Yo, we were just wrapping up delete photographs and <laughs> Who was it? Oh. Alyssa just screamed snake guys and there's that a freaking cool. oh, big ass cave racer. It's gonna get me. Oh man. Look at that. Just out, it's it so must have come out of cool. one of these crevices on the wall here. Was, was it just crossing along here? Yeah, it was yeah. like literally right in front. You can see it's, this is from it. This is man. <laughs> the day just gets better and better. Look, Look at, at that. that. Yeah. Can you come up here? That's, That's so up freaking up here. cool. Can you see the tracks? Yeah. See the track coming in? Hi, Mitch has taken over the handling momentarily so I can film properly. But yeah, another crazy moment right as we were going to leave. I was coming back to get my uh, hook, which I left here when I was going to put my other stuff in the car. And then this big cave racer, he's very skinny though. You see, like it's got a quite a pronounced ridge and at this size, they usually be a lot thicker. And uh, I don't know how well you can see in the shadow here, but it's got a couple ticks on it there, which will duly be removed as, uh, you know, I've always said these are natural, but we like snakes more than we like ticks, so. And yeah, nice kind of grayish. They can become extremely pale when they get old. This one's still got quite a lot of like darker coloration, but you never know, that could just be back guano. But yeah, third species of the day, which is crazy. And in a province where generally we find it tough to turn up snakes during the daytime, but limestone cast enjoyers are having a field day out here. This is amazing. Look at this beautiful animal. Let's go. Man, that's like the most minimal effort I've ever put into like finding three species of snake in the daytime <laughs> and uh it's about to absolutely start chucking it down with rain so that's going to be where we wrap up for today's daytime activities i think we'll let these guys finish their photography go back have a nice dinner refuel and then we'll get back out this way to do some night herping which as long as it isn't chucking it with rain at that point yeah i think it has potential to be really productive and as has today been december man it's rainy but it's like prime time for herping in Thailand. So anyone wants to plan a herping trip down here and you can afford the flight prices and higher kind of tourism stuff and whatnot, just general higher prices at this time of year, then get down because it's good for herping. And there we go. Another dinner is wrapped up. And uh, so far, no rain this evening, but it's looking awfully dark in that direction. Check that out. Yeah, that's some stormy skies, some of that December weather. But uh, yeah, it's bod god boss loud here so uh let's get moving and i'll catch up to you when we arrive at the herping spot or probably cruise something on the way over judging by how our luck's been going so far this has been a, a good trip let's keep it going well we didn't road cruise a snake but look at that malaysian moon moth actius manas one of the most ridiculous moths in the world also one of the most famous oh i've disturbed some kind of you gotta be really careful you don't tread on these. They're terrible flyers and they'll fly like underneath your shoe as you're putting your, your foot down. Just showed up to the parking lot and a huge prass waiting to greet us. Good sign of things to come. One easy snake on the board for tonight. This tree complex is so large, it beggars belief. Oh, oh my word, that is insane. We've been hiking this stream for a little while now and haven't seen any snakes since that vine snake at the parking lot, which is uh, mildly unfortunate, I'd say. Um, you would expect to see a, bit of, a little bit more, at least one in the last like 30, 40 minutes of walking, but uh, you know, there's still time, very much so. Um, we're getting deeper into the habitat, which generally becomes better. So keep grinding and I'll uh, hopefully the next clip will be me filming a snake or cool animal. Catch it, Nate. Um, oh, Trent, Go get that? it? Trent, right. yeah, yeah, go catch it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, Just yeah. gently take it out, it'll yeah. probably be fairly oh, relaxed. Oh, okay. Fuck yes, dude. <laughs> Pardon my French. <laughs>
Yeah, decent sized one. He's missing a lot of his tail though, by the looks of things. Yeah, yeah, he's got a chunk off. Kind of a brown morph, not too much yellows, but some some nice patches of pale cream towards the back and pretty much typical cynodon disposition. Very relaxed. If you catch them gently, they tend to be like this pretty docile. If you like grab them with a pair of tongs, they will uh, really get like serious. But this one is pretty happy just to be picked up out of that tree, soaking wet, cruising around here in the pouring rain. Although he has just eased off, hasn't it? It's got like a little bit lighter in the last few minutes, which is great because we were long overdue a snake and the rain was making me extremely sad. Oh. Look at that. Beautiful Buiga Cynodon. Um, the other guys got a Benculuensis while we weren't walking with them. They didn't pick it up. So third Buiga species of the trip and third snake of the night, second film. Awesome. What'd you think? That's awesome. <laughs> Their faces are really funky. Buigas are always like crowd pleasers because they're just large and uh, pretty charismatic. They're like goofy looking eyes. Yeah. It's crazy they can get bigger than that too. A lot bigger. Yeah, really? they get like nine, 10 feet. Yeah. I don't this, have a leech on my face, do I? Not that I see. This okay. is what I describe as a medium sized cynodon. So we're walking down the trail and we just got a Benculuensis, which is about the same size that David described the one that they found along this trail. Can you tell me if this is the same one or not, girls? Um, it looks like it, to be I honest. It yeah. probably isn't because, you know, there's going to be a lot of these hanging around in the forest, but, oi. <laughs> uh, was it in this point of trail? That's yes, it was. Yeah, it was here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be really goofy if we just found the exact same snake as them, but yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Take this away from my mover. <laughs> <laughs> I, I let it, I can, I'm not letting him chew on me for longer than like 10 seconds, hell no. I don't know about the venom of these guys, but I'm sure as hell not going to be the first person to find out. <laughs> Alright, you guys can... Yeah, so these young bang, this one's like transition phase. You can see the greens come in first on the head, and then eventually they green up right down the body. And the pattern, the strong kind of bandy become, banding becomes a lot less distinct. And they become like that big green adult we got last night or rather not last night, last video. There we go. Nice, I'm gonna put this guy back even if he, even if he is the same one these guys saw, we didn't see it, so. <laughs> Check this out. I just look in this little pot here and there's a little triangle keelback who uh, seems to have decided to inhabit his, this is his humble abode, guys, look. I'm gonna grab a picture of that before he swims away. All right, another snake just popped up after the rain. Uh, it's a green viper, unfortunately not the one we were after. It's another Alba Labris, um, this time a big female. So we've seen both sexes of the species. You can see if I zoom in on the head there, you can see there's no white stripe uh, on the face, although it does possess a little white stripe on the body. And she's pretty decent size, sitting here in like an awesome ambush position um, and adds another bit of diversity to the night, which is always great. I'm gonna leave her in situ because Mitch wants to take a picture um, but I'm just enjoying this here. Always great to see her. Always cool to see like a neon green glowing shape in the forest. No, Steven. A couple of seconds after we got our elbow, these guys picked up a male as well. And this one's like a typical southern one with the kind of dark bands on the body. Not showing up great right now because it's a little bit overexposed, but uh, yeah, you can see them there, there and about. This one's a male, white stripe on the face and quite a bit smaller than the female we just picked up. But another snake, uh, stuff is out after the rain and we're gonna keep searching. Check it out, another big green bang. David picked this one up, so another snake. They're coming at like a fairly decent rate after it stopped raining. So I'm gonna try and like do a bit more searching, see if anything else is knocking around. But yeah, big green bang, beautiful jungle cat snake, which is definitely the most common cat snake at this particular spot. Without a doubt, probably the most common species I've ever seen at this location. Most abundant species here. This one's nice, not as green as the one from last night, but very green on the head. Not so green as it goes down the body with Kind of nice pale pinks. Very beautiful snake overall, awesome. Look at that, you'd never believe that this morning we woke up just 30 minutes drive from here and it was just non-stop rain, dark clouds. But here at the coast, it's looking good. Yeah, just woke up. Let's go have dinner and then look for some snakes. It was just about to roll an intro to the night's herping and uh, the guys are 
Is it a crate or a mangrove? It's a crate, but it's juvenile. <laughs> I'm excited about this. That's freaking I to cool. See, I wanted to see a small one. Dude, some that's time. so cool. Look at that little guy. <laughs> yeah, you can be a little bit more for like a bold with the handling of these. Yeah. Hey, buddy. What's up, dude? Look at that. Little sub-adult. That's a cowder. Oh, my head hurts. Mm -hmm. Looks so blue at this size, but uh, no, this is definitely just Latte Cowder, Latte Cowder. When you, I mean, Colubrina, Colubrina. Mm -hmm. When you see Latte Cowder, like the species, it's like striking how blue they are compared to these, even though these look kind of blue to like, at first glance. But nice, I'm sure this will be the first of a, a few since tide's nice and high here. Let's go. I just took a look down here and there's a sleeping water monitor you see on this little this branch here you see it? yeah sleeping monitor and it's something the guys have been absolutely really really wanting to catch oh fuck yeah Let's and go. david's got it oh and it's spraying oh yeah Right, here's a look at old Scrabbly Boy in Trent's hands, the young uh, Varanus Salvatore Asian water monitor with a really nice uh, black and yellow tail here. You see he's missing part of it that uh, would have been a lot longer, but uh, some of it got chomped off by a predator or maybe even another monitor at some point. And uh, yeah, these guys are around here, pretty active on this island, but incredibly hard to get your hands on, like insanely hard. Realistically, the only way is if they're sleeping at night and we got lucky and this guy was just sleeping right down by the beach, which is awesome. Beautiful animal, people love monitors. I think they're, they're okay. <laughs> they're cool, they're cool lizards. Yeah, they're cool lizards for sure. Yeah, he's got some shed skin mm -hmm. stuck on his back. Yeah. Oh, actually, I just realized he's like all in shed Yeah, here. he's in shed up top Yeah, here. So the tail isn't though, that's why mm -hmm. it's so vibrant. If, the, if we shed this off, it'd be a lot more vibrant than it yeah. is right now. But yeah, another nice little island encounter. This is one of several we've seen so far. I've been walking up on the trail, so haven't been filming them, and uh, this will probably be the last one I film. We'll just be filming any other stuff we encounter as we walk around these weird kind of coastal rocky beaches areas with uh, a little bit of forest here and there. And we're off to a good start. The crates are active, which is always great to see. Good population around here, and uh, this one's a little one. A little bit bigger than the one I showed before, but not as big as some of the other ones encountered, and certainly not even close to as big as some of the biggest ones we have we have ever found here which some of them are giant we call them cappuccino another snake yes. along the beach this is one of the most like typical island dwellers of all it's cap like it in capacinus and this one not biting did it bite you david it did i guess it's done with its biting now and can just chill here this one's kind of pretty these love yeah, like yellow. islands huh very like yellowish yeah yeah really yellowish I knew these were here because I saw one a while back, but certainly not as common as I usually expect them to be on islands, at least not along the beach. We're always going like along the beach here, rarely ever inland. And David just stepped inland and got this, which is actually where I saw one of these last time. All right, last night was super short. The guys actually got a mangrove pit viper after I went to sleep because I was so tired and uh, I haven't really had a single rest since the Philippines. So I was like, I'm gonna get some sleep early tonight, let the guys do their photography and stuff because for the next four days we're headed down to Naratiwat for the most hardcore endurance herping of the trip. Right, so I knew I had to be ready for that. But without further ado, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hop on the boat this morning, do the seven and a half hour drive to Naratiwat and I'll catch you there for the last night of herping for this video for the start of big things. Let's go. All right, and only about six hours later actually, we have arrived in Naratiwat. Look at that beautiful Malayan mixed it terracotta forest, huge trees. And this is like the least mature of all the areas. We're about to get some food, get some snacks, explore town a little bit, and then uh, we'll go check into our hotel. And soon some really exciting herping can begin. All right, we uh, just got out and uh, the weather has greeted us. Fantastic. December night rains, the worst thing known to man. Um, hopefully these don't last too long and the forest will be alive with life once we get in. But until this ends, we're just going to cruise around. So maybe something will show up. Melanota, plum, wagglers. We saw all those species in the rain last time. Let's see if there's anything else out and about. Plumbus, plumbus, plumbus. Plumbus, plumbus, plumbus. Oh, typical plumbus. Not biting. Naratiwat, clade, 
plumbus with all the spots and the stripes and the yellow venter and I'm getting soaked and I don't want my phone to get soaked so everybody embrace the plumbus enjoy the plumbus bask in the joy of the plumbus and uh yeah I'll catch you guys later <laughs> no way what, what? What? <laughs> what? I'm like shaking. He's shaking what? with adrenaline, man. Is that a life for no you, Steven? Way. Yes, this, this counts. A Batman's no Ross. <laughs> a Batman's Ross. A Batman's Ross. That's wild. That's wild. What? Yo, Ch Trent, I, was I not just saying in the car earlier, like Dude, a couple I was of days ago? That. I was literally we were saying. We're talking about this on the way here. I was literally saying that I think like a dragon snake or something stupidly rare could be in store for us. Man, that is unreal. Oh, Holy Bro! I cannot believe this. That One of the wild. rarest snakes the in the Thai Peninsula. The funniest thing was we almost didn't even stop the car because we all thought it was an earthworm. The second someone said it was a showstopper when they got out the car, I had a feeling it wasn't. Because I was thinking blue coral is probably the most likely thing you guys cruised. Oh my god, that is a one of the weirdest, Dude. wildest textures on a snake ever, Very and it feels so odd. That is freaking crazy. Yeah, like yeah, we got a we got a we got a oh, showstopper as well. Yeah. They got, like, no, that's, that's they got a showstopper as well. What? I don't know. No, I'm kidding. We got no. pl we got plumbus. Uh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. What is that? Dude, Someone... These things look like earthworms on the road. Like yeah. they do not Dude, I, look I like a snake. <laughs> He's so excited. That's a yeah. rash. Look at that venter as well, man. Dude. What so the rastaclots. I'd be shaking if Bro, I found this. We're in like a small group of people who have seen one uh -huh. of these in Thailand. Uh -huh. Bro, what did I tell you, bro, about this road? Like, oh, it just has rare wow. snakes on it, even though it's like rubber plantations. Oh, shoot. Yeah. The, the feel. Guys, the weirdest thing just happened. Our cars met in the road, and as we pulled up to them, they jumped out and grabbed this trapeze from going into the grass. Yeah, road cruise these a few times on this little stretch, actually. Yeah, let's come see you. I, I know. I think, I think we should so give wild. it another while of cruising because, like, stuff starts to stuff be coming moving. out now. Yeah, yeah this kind wild. of drizzle after heavy it's rain is... more pleasant than walking right now. Look how long he is. And it's working. That, that is incredible. Working. Yeah, these are like the Imantodes of, uh, of Asia. Is this I have a bag. pretty typical for, like, length and size? This is like, quite a long one. This is quite a long one. That's a good-sized adult. That's yeah. a really Ooh. big trapeze. Can you... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can... Maybe. Maybe. He just wants to crawl. Just bring him back down to like your your hand cool. constantly. And hold him. Here, hold that. Yeah, it would be easier with two hands. Yeah, I, I don't know if we'll be back in Cyanea range for herping. That's the annoying thing, but. We have such a bad. We've never found one of those on our like big tours annoyingly. You always find them when it's just like us and friends. Yeah. But I know you've seen like multiple That thing's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is Buiga species number four of the trip and uh, we're getting into some proper Naratiwat herpa, herping. Yeah. Turbo rare mega lifers and uh, large colubrids, plumbus. Oh, night hornet. I'm outie. <laughs> Right, apparently the other guy's got a little slug snake, uh, Parius margaritophorus, on their drive. But I think that's going to do us for cruising. We're kind of excited to get out into the forest. Although, uh, yeah, that rain brought out some stuff and it brought out a turbo rare mega lifer. So let's go. Everyone's beyond hyped about that. And the night's just beginning. We're going to hit the forest now, get hiking, get into the rivers, see what shows up. Let's go. We were just, we were just pissing about waiting for the other guys to arrive at the parking lot. And we walked down this little path and would you look at that? Like... What would you say this is like a adult female? Yeah, yeah, female. I think adult female with the no basically no spots on the body at all. Yeah. Really pale side of the head. It's hard for me to see, but maybe on the phone I can show it a little better. I hope that's in focus. Oh, oh nice. hello, hello, little lady. Decent sized Hagens. Uh, oh, I thought I had a wasp on me. Yeah, it's wasp crazy in this kind of weather, guys. So I'm probably every like second shot tonight. I'm gonna be freaking out over wasp but like this one's just ambushing on this little like man human planted shit on the edge of this path here which is pretty dope unfortunately the rain has returned just if we wanted to hike in the forest go down here or start, down there? start here for sure yeah let's go wow this is well someone can catch that go, 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 go. you don't need your hook to catch it <laughs> 
<laughs> Little hopper. Yeah, this is one of the rarest flying frogs in southern Thailand. Rakaforest pardalis. The, is it harlequin? Is that the common name? Yeah, harlequin tree frog. Harlequin tree frog. This isn't as nice as like the huge female I saw here earlier in like May, but this is absolutely beautiful. Like, look at that. Amazing webbing, those patterns on the side. And uh, we came to this pond hoping to see a Rakaforus nigra palmatis, but this one is like 10,000 times more rare. In all my time in Southern Thailand, this is only the third I've ever seen. Amazing. All right, guys, sorry for the delay, but thanks for watching this video. I uploaded and edited this from the UK, where I will be for the next few weeks. But do not fear, I still have a lot of content from this trip coming out soon, including some unreal showstoppers and just truly sensational nights of herping. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, help me out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.